So you got to think about data, right? So in the last, in our lifetimes, in the last 20 years, really, you know, the biggest thing that's changed about the world is data. You know, we kind of think of our access to information over the uh, the internet and how our lives have changed because uh, we have this fantastic fingertip access through Google to anything we ever want to know. You know, but the other side is true as well that data is being collected by us. Actually, uh, a guy called Edward Snowden is one of our best advocates. You know, he's kind of making the world sensitive <laughs> to issues about data being collected. What you can learn from data. You know, there's a huge change. They didn't have any of this data 20 years ago. Your supermarket 20 years ago didn't know what you bought. Now, with your loyalty card, it's got your entire history of all your purchases that you've ever made at a really fine-grained level of detail. So, whatever area you're in, you know, you might be. Uh, in the uh, in government, or in education, or in business, you know, farming. Uh, comparing now and 20 years ago, the amount of data you got now is immeasurably larger than what you had before. So these are this is a whole new phenomenon, and people are just starting to think about it. And I think it, it's really important that the domain expert people need to know about the domain to work with data. There's no point in people coming in just knowing about the tools and the techniques. You've got to understand the domain. So those are the people who are going to be able to get kind of results. It's not a case of taking a bunch of data and the data mining algorithm and putting them in a pot and kind of stirring it. You know, you have to really understand from the point of view of the application what you're trying to do and where you're going. So my mission here, if you like, with these MOOCs is to um, move data mining into the hands of the domain expert out of the kind of computer scientists, the data scientists, and into the kind of end user. And this is what Weka does. You know, you download Weka, it runs on your PC, you can process uh, data sets with millions, multiple, multiple millions of instances and heaps of attributes. You know, it's kind of big stuff. And you can do it yourself, like in your living room, if you like. Uh, so uh, I want to get this stuff into the hands of the domain experts. That's where the real application advances are going to come. Well, one thing you learn if you do uh, the data mining with Weka MOOC is that you need to be pretty clear what question you're asking when you start analyzing data. It's not usually very productive just to go in and just, uh, here's a bunch of data, let's kind of look and see if we can find anything interesting in it. Well, there might be lots of interesting, but maybe not very useful things. It's much more productive, I think, uh, to uh, come along with a question that you're trying to answer. So a large part of the data mining problem is coming up with a question that you're asking and kind of refining that question. Once, you've, once you're clear about what it is you're trying to do, then the technical aspect of you know, using Weka to do some data mining and doing some evaluation and so on, that's actually the easy part. I think the hard part is always asking the questions. So yeah, I'm very much, you know, think about your domain, think about the questions you're asking, what do you really want to know, rather than let's dive in and start playing around with this data.